Hello my loves and welcome back to my channel. I decided that I wanted to do a favorites makeup tutorial. I wanted to take all of my favorites for the last few months or most of my favorites for the last few months and incorporate them in a tutorial. This is pretty much almost like an everyday makeup tutorial so when I want to look beat this is the look that I tend to go for. I do vary it between shades. Sometimes I smoke it out a little bit more, but this is pretty much the basics of the look. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. I will be doing a favorites video in the next coming week or so. So thumbs that up if you're excited to see that, even though I'm sure it's gonna be pretty boring. But anyway guys, go ahead and stay tuned and I will show you guys how I achieve this look. See you guys later. I've prepped and primed my face using my Emberlease and now I'm going to add a little bit of glow using the Maybelline Master Prime Blur and Illuminate. For foundation I'm going to be applying the Maybelline Dream Wonder and I'm using the shade 40 Nude and a F80 Kabuki brush. Now to correct under the eyes, I'm going to be using my Tarte CC Under Eye Corrector in light medium and I'm going to be using that as a base for my eyeshadows. I'm going to be using the Rimmel Stay Matte Press Powder in 005 Silky Beige to set that under eye corrector. Now for my brows, I'm going to keep them soft and simple and I'm going to be using my Anastasia Brow Wiz in Ebony. Now I'm going to conceal and brighten under my eyes and on my T-zone using the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind in the shade Light. Now to prevent any creasing, I'm going to be using my Cody Airspun in Translucent under the eyes and on the T-zone and I'm just going to cook under the eyes for a couple of minutes and then brush it away. On to the eye look, I'm going to be taking the shade Beaches and Cream by Makeup Geek and placing that all over the crease with a fluffy blending brush. I'm going to then go into the outer V and a little bit on the crease with the shade Coco Bear, also from Makeup Geek. And then I'm going to be taking a blending brush without any additional product and blending that out. Now taking the shade Drama Queen, also from Makeup Geek, I'm going to be using a smaller fluffy brush and taking that on the outer V to help deepen up the crease. And then I'm going to be blending it with a clean blending brush. I'm going to be taking the shade Shimmer Shimmer all over the lid and on the inner corner of the eye. Woo! I'm going to be taking the shade Drama Queen again and placing that on the outer half of the lower lash line. Then going back in with Cocoa Bear and a fluffy brush, I'm going to be blending out the lower lash line so that it transitions beautifully. I'm going to be taking my Inglot Gel Liner in number 77 and I'm going to be doing a nice winged liner. I'm also going to use this to tight line and for the waterline. taking my Too Faced Milk Chocolate Soleil to bronze up the skin. Now to highlight the face, I'm going to be taking my Mary Luminizer from The Balm. 
I'm going to take my Hourglass Ambient Lighting Blush in Dim Infusion and placing that on the apples of the cheek. I'm going to be lining and filling in my lips using the Jordana Easy Liner in Coco Loco. And then I'm going to take Anastasia of Beverly Hills Liquid Lipstick in Pure Hollywood and putting that right on top. For my lashes, I'm going to be using the Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara. It is one of my favorites and it just gives me the volume that I need. So this is the completed look using all of my favorite items for the last few months. I wanted to share with you guys the look that I go for on an everyday basis. I hope you guys like this video. Please thumbs up, don't forget to subscribe, and as always, I'll see you guys in my next video. Love you guys. Bye.